And uh, I'm Shelby Nguyen. I'm Ruby Nguyen. And we are the, the world famous Nguyen twins. <laughs> uh, as you can see, Ruby and I are identical twins. We look exactly the same. <laughs> Our DNA cannot be identified. <laughs> That doesn't make sense. Well, I mean, that is to say that if we were in a horrible, fiery car crash, oh, God bless our souls, uh, our bodies could only be identified by our teeth. I think she means dental records. But uh, you're probably wondering, like, hey, Nguyen Twins, why haven't you, we seen you around town? And the truth is we've been traveling a lot. We've been meeting a lot of eclectic people in circuses and wandering carnivals and such. I'm in the Midwest, where twins are very rare, as very you rare. know, so we're a big draw there. Yeah. And you know what? You don't know what it feels like to be looked at as like a freak. I mean, sir, you know, but you guys, the rest of you don't get it. No, and it's, it's not easy, you guys. It's not easy to be constantly mistaken for somebody else, you know? It's, it's degrading and humiliating and annoying. It's like waking up in the morning after a hardcore night of drinking and your head is just like throbbing and you brush your teeth and you throw up as you're brushing your teeth and it's just like disgusting. You feel disgusting inside, you know? Huh. <laughs> Interesting. So, um, being mistaken for me is humiliating and degrading and induces vomit. Well, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. <laughs> you know what? You're a piece of work tonight. Is there something wrong, Shelby? Ladies and gentlemen, my sister, Ruby Ginny Nguyen, suffers from twin tux comparium and it's breaking my heart! Oh, here we go again. As you know, twin tux comparium is when one twin feels that he or she needs to change his or her outward appearance in order to look different than his or her twin. I wanted to go blonde. I told you to do it too. You know I can't go blonde. We look awesome! as blondes. <laughs> okay, all right, we gotta move forward because we're doing a show. Fine. 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 People ask us all the time, hey, you're twins. Can you think, can you read each other's thoughts? Duh. Pogs. <laughs> to demonstrate this very fact, I am going to tell you what Shelby is thinking right now. <laughs> She's under. She gets really intense migraines. God damn it! Great. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Cool. So what Shelby was thinking was that she agrees with Fahid Zaharia, who says that the debt crisis is only a small problem in Europe, and the greater problem is a lack of growth. <laughs> you can quote me on that. <laughs> All right, moving on to our next segment. You guys, we have to be honest here right now. We have been just traveling so much and performing all over the country, and we are just bored, you know? It's tiring. Yeah. The constant accolades and accoutrements and autographs. It's just too much. It's too much. And so... More than just that. We are. And so tonight we decided that we're going to break down our walls, and we're going to get really vulnerable with you. And... Uh, we're going to read a portion of our feature-length script <laughs> written by us. Yes, it's amazing. It's uh, the first script to ever be written by twins. I, I think it's the first anything that's to be written by twins. Yeah. So this is actually a really exciting night for you. Uh, please sit back, relax, take a little drink off your libations, mm. and enjoy an excerpt from the Twins Take Manhattan by Shelby and Ruby Nguyen. By Shelby Nguyen. Page 62. Just sit back. Interior, New York subway day. The dank, dark subway station is desolate. Not the norm for this busy F train stop. Shelby and Ruby look at each other in confusion. 
something is amiss. As soon as Ruby opens her mouth to articulate her concern, a distant rumble is heard in the background. <laughs> Trains don't sound like this. All of a sudden, the girls feel the earth shake and the ceiling of the subway station begins to crumble. It's an earthquake in New York! With all of her fright and might, Ruby screams. Run! The girls head for the staircase, but it's too late. The subway station fills up with soot from falling debris. The girls struggle to catch their breath. <laughs> Will they make it out alive? I don't know. You gotta go see the movie. See that film? Since there's 62 pages left, I say they do. Oh, thank you very thank much. You. That felt good. That felt, felt good. good. You know? Yeah. It felt good to actually do something more. You know what? You're right. You're right. No one reads it. You gotta it let it out. Good. Felt good. Yeah. Okay. On to our next segment. So there is something really cool about being a twin, other than all the hard parts. There's something really great, and that is harmonizing. <laughs> Saying I love you is not the words I want to hear from you. It's not that I want you not to say, but if you only knew how easy it would be to show me how you feel. More than words. a lot of time alone together. Um, um, especially when we were really young. And, and, and that alone time was encompassed with fantasy and dance. And tonight dance. we would like lots to... Of lots of dancing. We wanted to share a dance with you that has always inspired us to be more than we are, and we hope it does the same for you. Uh, Maestro, if you could start with our affirmations. We have electric personalities. <laughs> We're originals. You're beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God.
Yeah. <laughs>